Right, you guys got another video here for you on what is the best free backup software for Windows 10. Now if you're looking for a piece of software to back up all your precious data and you want it for free you can use the built-in Windows software if you wish but I find it to be a bit cumbersome so something like Iomi Backupper is a pretty good choice for someone who wants something for free that has all uh, the nice premium features that some of the paid software has. So if you look here, they've got different versions for different people. So you've got the standard free version, professional, server, technician and technician plus, and then you can check out the additions comparison to find out which one is suitable for you. So let's take a look at the free version here. Now, if you check the comparisons, it will tell you what the free version has missing compared to the pro version. And you can go through here and check and find out what uh, bits are missing. So you can see here there's plenty of bits missing on the free version. But now most home users will probably just be OK with just backing up. And the thing is with these free bits of software is they do remove quite a lot of features from the free version, which some people probably won't ever use. But some more advanced people may like to use some of these features which are removed. And that means you're going to have to buy the next version up which is the pro version so you can see here differential backup with scheduled task is missing uh, backup to dvd which is missing so you may have some of these features that you may want and uh, if that is the case you will need to purchase the professional edition which is 39 dollars 95 so so make sure you check those comparisons out between the free version and the professional version and see which one ticks all the boxes for you. So I'm going to be using the professional edition here just to check it out and find out what it's got. So we're going to be doing an overview of the software and I'll show you exactly what this piece of software looks like and what it can do for you. So once you've downloaded your software, whatever version you've gone for, you're going to need to get a backup plan in place and Having a backup strategy is really important. I would suggest you do something along the lines of a 3 to one backup, which is basically creating three copies of your data, one primary and two backups. This can be two types of storage, which will be on your local drive or network drive, which is your NAS drive, and one in the cloud. It's very important that you have it in three different locations. Now, way Iomi Backupper works is if you want to use cloud storage for a backup solution, then you will need to use the file sync, which is built into the software, and then connect to uh, a, an actual uh, cloud storage client, which will be something like Google Drive, Dropbox, Amazon Drive, OneDrive, or any of those particular types of services. There's others out there that you can connect to and upload to the cloud via Iomi Backupper, which you can use the standard free version to do that as well. So let's go ahead and open up the software and take a look at what they've done with their latest version. So this is Iomi Backupper 5.0 and this is the professional version. The standard version is the free version, which you can use. I just need to register this quickly. The reason why I've gone for the pro version, because it does have a few other options available uh, to it, which I wanted to take a look at. So let me go ahead and put the key in here and then we can go ahead and take a look at some of the options here. OK, so that is now all registered and ready to go. So let's go ahead and click OK and we'll take a look at the actual software here. Now, if you want to see some tutorials on this sort of stuff, then let me know in the comment section below whether you want to see uh, some uh, tutorials on how to do certain stuff. But you can see the GUI interface has had a big overhaul. It looks much more newer now, much more fresher, looks very much like a Cronus, to be honest with you. And uh, when you click on this button here, you can see a drop down menu which allows you to uh, create your bootable media and this is very important because this will allow you to boot to that media when your PC is not uh, bootable and this means that you can boot to this uh, bootable media and then restore your system or back up your system uh, uh, from there. You've also got image explore that allows you to explore the images that you've created also uh, on the next one down we have import and export backup. That means you can import and export your backups. Pretty self-explanatory, really. You can view logs also here. And you've also uh, got another feature here, which is Iomi PXE uh, boot tool. This is your Pixie boot. And uh, you've also got Iomi uh, centralized backupper. Now, some of these features might not be available on the standard version, so just bear that in mind. Uh, the Pixie Boot definitely isn't available on the free version. 
So we're going to take a look here at the backup options and the backup option gives you system backup which is backup windows and create an image of your system partition. This is if you want to backup your windows uh, installation. So what I'd advise you to do is install all your stuff how you want it and then create a system backup. That is always a good thing to do. You've got file backup here uh, which is to back up all your files so easily back up files and folders to an image file that's if you just want to do a file backup you've also got file sync this will allow you to uh, sync your files to say a cloud storage if you want to do that if you want to see some of these videos let me know in the comment section below and i'll be happy to make those videos for you also you've got disk backup as well and you can see here this is going to allow you to do backup of hard disks hard disks to your image file and you've got partition backup as well which is pretty much self-explanatory you've got the restore feature here which allows you to restore from a selected image file and you've also got clone which is a system clone here which you can clone the system and remember guys this allows you to migrate anything to uh, an ssd uh, or other disks that you may be using whether it be mechanical or ssd uh, disk clone and also partition clone as well is there when you click on the system backup you'll see something looking like this very simplistic and easy to follow so even if you're not a very advanced uh, computer user you can use something like this to easily navigate and understand what you're doing you've got your uh, destination here this will be the destination where you want to send your backup to and this could be to a network location or an external drive or another uh, place where you want to uh, put it onto so you can see here this will be your network location this could be your NAS drive and this will be where you can add a network location uh, display name and your network path and this will allow you to send data over to your uh, your NAS drive your backups to your NAS drive which is very useful now remember some of these features may not be available on the standard version uh, but you can see here we do have options available here and you can see under general you can write a note and this will be uh, some details here you also have enable encryption for backups you can enable encryption with your passwords here this would be uh, if you want to add in a password and encrypt your data you can do and also you've got email notification this will send you email notifications what's happening with your backup and stuff like that um, you also got backup mode and this will allow you to do um, intelligent sector backup which is recommended and then you can make an exact backup if you wish but it's recommended that you do the intelligent sector backup here backup service you can see here is using the Microsoft VSS and also the commands here pre command uh, this is getting a bit more advanced for most home users are probably not going to use a lot of this stuff uh, so they probably will be leaving all of this alone again you've got your split in here which is automatic recommended and you've got your compression i would leave that on normal uh, once you start putting compression on stuff it can cause a few problems i would just leave that as is and if you have to use compression because you're running out of space then buy yourself a bigger hard drive it's that simple you can see here automatically create a folder with the same name and tasks as the targeted one now going back to the main area here we do have a little uh, burger bar up the top which you can click on here and this gives you a uh, check for updates um, and also cancel control user manual tutorials and stuff like that so if you're not so familiar with uh, this particular type of software you can click on this and it will give you a bunch of tutorials which they've created to help you do tasks like system backup uh, disk backup file backup partition backup file sync and so on it's all listed there and you can just go through here and read this at your own leisure so they've got the full-blown uh, tutorials to help you uh, create your tasks there is also videos on YouTube that uh, other people have created and probably are going to create as well which you'll be able to follow if you're more of a visual video person you've got your schedule feature here which allows you to uh, set up a schedule to basically uh, do your backups so they can be daily weekly monthly event triggers and stuff like that if that's what you want to do run once only at a certain date and time you can also run once every day at a certain time and you've also got the intervals area here you just have to put the little radio button in there and do the intervals at whatever times you want and you've got an advanced area here which does full backup 
incremental backup, which is default and differential backup. Now, remember, some of these might not be available for the standard version. So do check with the comparisons there just to make sure that everything is OK for you before you go ahead and use it. Now, also, there's some other bits here which you can see. I'm not going to go too much into that. So let's come out of there. OK, so that's the general overlook here. Just want to quickly look at the uh, menu up the top here and go to settings. And we'll take a quick look in here and we'll see what else is in here. So we can see here notifications, enable email or SMS. And you've also got a little slider here. You can do IOMI server or whatever you want to do there. Gmail, choose whatever you need to do and put your email and uh, set up your settings here. And this will do all your uh, settings to send messages and notifications to you. You've got your backup mode and your advanced mode here. We've already looked at that. And that's going to be about it. I think we're going to finish this video off. That's been an overview of the IOMI backup of software. This is the professional version, but check out the uh, free standard version if you want to check the free version out. If you fancy getting your hands on the professional version, I'll leave the link in the video description. Let me know if you want to see any more videos with this software. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.